So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Well, I've got several jars uh, with water samples standing on my window and I've seen that uh, there are some algae growing on one, in one of them. Um, and I've scratched off a sample here and put it under the microscope and, and indeed there are many microscopic uh, algae visible. And uh, in this video today, I would also like to explore a little bit the idea to what extent those algae, those microscopic algae can be used also to reduce global carbon dioxide in the atmosphere because those algae, just like plants, they do photosynthesis and they absorb carbon dioxide and convert it to biomass. And biomass, essentially, that's algae, the biological material cells, so to say. And this is how the carbon is bound. Um, and uh, this would be actually a quite an interesting way to reduce carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. But unfortunately, I'm afraid it's not going to work. And I would like to explain why I think that the challenges here are a little bit too high. Well, um, under the microscope, we can see that the algae in this case um, are round little uh, structures, um, cells. Um, you can also see a couple of diatoms moving around uh, they're also algae and uh, worldwide they produce a significant amount um, of uh, oxygen gas uh, also of course uh, in the marine environment um, and uh, during this process they of course also reduce carbon dioxide and the thing is now the following if we were somehow able to grow these algae in a large large quantities and if we are then to harvest them then essentially we have removed carbon dioxide from the atmosphere because the carbon dioxide is bound in the form of biomass, in the form of organic material in the algae itself. However, there's a problem. And the problem is, is that this is not a long-term solution. Even if we were somehow able to grow these algae in very large amounts, it's not a long-term solution because this carbon dioxide, which is bound, can be again be given off when the algae decompose. Essentially, bacteria and fungi will break down the biomass and they will use it um, as a source uh, of food. And uh, by cell respiration, all of the carbon dioxide is going to be released again into the atmosphere. And essentially, um, we've not gained anything. So what can we do? Well. I did think a little bit about some possibilities here and scientists are studying a variety of methods. For example, it has been proposed to somehow catch carbon dioxide. For example, when it's produced uh, by a factory, for example, or from cars, or maybe you're able to extract it directly from the atmosphere. You're able to maybe catch the carbon dioxide and then press and pump the carbon dioxide deep into the ground. Um, and then basically it's going to accumulate there and uh, this would then remove the carbon dioxide uh, from the so-called the carbon cycle and also from the atmosphere. Um, this is uh, not feasible. Um, um, how are you going to do that? And uh, it might also not be stable because if there are some earthquakes maybe, um, then the carbon dioxide might be able to come out again. So we've not gained anything. Yeah? Um, other people have suggested, well, because of the problematic nature of carbon dioxide, um, maybe we can convert the carbon dioxide somehow to limestone um, and the limestone will then uh, be settling uh, settling on the ground and then this is the way how the carbon dioxide is going to be removed so there are chemical processes that we could maybe initiate um, forming the limestone which is uh, essentially contains a lot of carbon um, and then the limestone will actually then uh, be the way that the carbon is going to be bound um, also may maybe not feasible on a large scale so of course uh, what about the algae well again the problem is is that the algae can decompose um, and uh, so what we would probably have to do somehow is we have to completely dry the algae to remove all of the water so that bacterial and fungal growth is inhibited and then we have to compress those somehow into the ground or at least in a place stored in a place um, where um, it's not able to break down and this is of course uh, yeah very difficult if not impossible to do um, so I do have a solution for this problem and uh, here I have to ask for the help of uh, uh, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos I, I need your rockets maybe you can shoot them out into space um, because uh, then they're definitely the carbon is definitely removed from uh, from the carbon cycle and uh, then essentially it can also not be decomposed anymore by bacteria and fungi to release the carbon dioxide again so yeah your help is uh, needed uh, the game is on but <laughs> I'm not being serious now as you can imagine on the more serious side it is possible to uh, at least foreseeable or maybe even feasible to maybe grow those algae to uh, for the production of biofuels bioethanol and biodiesel um, and this then would essentially be carbon neutral so we're just then returning the carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere 
which the algae have first um, absorbed. So there is no net gain in carbon dioxide uh, in, in, uh, the, uh, in the atmosphere, but we're also not removing anything. So maybe this is indeed a possibility. Uh, let's grow algae um, yeah, in large uh, ponds maybe, <laughs> and uh, for the production of bio, uh, biofuels, maybe possible, I don't know, um, just some ideas. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.